toilet that was feeling really slow. And it feels like there's something jammed inside right here. So I changed the top half of the fill valve but that didn't get it, but then pulled this off and felt inside here. I think it's a second casket inside there. Here's a new one. What it should look like. Yeah, definitely there's, there's a second gasket. So, in theory, I should just be able to pull that out. Alright, I need two hands. Okay, got it. It's just an extra piece of gasket someone put in there for some reason. Now, I bet your toilet is got nice full power. It was just, the water was just barely dribbling. So, I rehook that up and get it going. Okay, now I can turn the water back on. Oh yeah, what a difference. It was just dribbling out of there. Now it's gonna feel fast. All right, make sure we have no leaks. And we don't, we're good. So in the Fluid Master Kit usually comes uh, gaskets and the outer gasket is what goes around the, the bottom of the fill valve tube and that sits in the bottom of the tank and this piece inside you tear apart and it would go around the old type of supply line the old supply lines uh, inside the part that screws on to the fill tube would have uh, a little spot that inserts in the middle of that gasket and then that gasket uh, would be threaded onto the fill tube and, but that's the story there someone had stuck a second piece of gasket into uh, this supply line that already has its own gasket so these this is more common these days the older style of uh, like the braided style fl of a flexible supply line those ones uh, had gaskets that you could replace and that's what the the fluid master fill valve comes with but that was the story on this one was a strange one it was probably uh, one of those rare occurrences, but it does happen, and this was the story today. Anyway, toilet's all back up and running, just some cleanup, and things are good to go. A quick search of my YouTube channel, you should be able to find a bunch of material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs, and links to tools and parts used in the videos can be found in the descriptions below.